Hello, Nick Ritter here with another cavalry tutorial. This is a mini series about cavalry's constraints. In cavalry, you can find all the constraints by typing control period and constraint. In this video, we'll be talking about the transform constraint. So I'll double click here and we're in. First up, there's a target. Currently, there's no connection. It requires another layer. We have an offset. There's a rest position, rest offset, rest rotation. And then we have a rotated offset position strength, out position, rotation strength, out rotation. It can be a bit daunting. So let's create a rectangle. And then let's also create a null object. And then let's add a math node. And then we'll connect that into the nulls rotation. A couple more things. We'll connect this time value here from our composition up to the first attribute. Now that number changes based on whatever frame we're on. Nifty. But this rotation goes a little slow. We'll come up here and on the second value in our math node, we'll just make that five. And then that goes much faster. So if I want the square to rotate in a circle, then all I have to do is go into the rectangle shape. I'll solo that here and change the X position to be the radius of whatever circular motion I want. Now when I play it, the null object rotates, and because it is a parent of the rectangle, the rectangle also rotates. And in this case, it rotates around in a circle instead of in place. But what if we wanted this rectangle to stay in place? Now, I know there's a few different ways to accomplish this. You could use a pathfinder, but this is a transform constraint tutorial. So we're gonna solve it using a transform constraint. The first thing I'll do is make another rectangle and we'll call this our follower. And we'll call this current rectangle that's spinning around. We'll call this one leader. But in the transform constraint under the target attribute, we wanna give it the leader. So you can click and drag the connection or you can click and drag the layer itself. These are the target values that the constraint will be looking at is what comes from the leader. And then we want to take our out position and connect that into our followers position. We'll make the leader invisible. So now as the leader rotates, the follower using the transform constraint copies the position data of that rotating rectangle, but this time it's not rotating itself. Now, if we wanted to also copy over the rotation data, then all you do is connect out rotation to our follower. Now it's rotating just like it was before, but this time we have a little bit more control using our rotation strength. So we could potentially reverse it, go about negative 100, and now it's rotating at the reverse of what our leader object is rotating. Thanks very much for following along with this little mini tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions, comments below, and I do take suggestions on videos. Like and subscribe to see more videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.